My guest today is Maggie Vesey. Maggie is an NCAA all-time All-American runner. She's competed twice in the World Championships, winning the women's 800-meter event in a time of under two minutes, one minute, 57 seconds for 800 meters. She is one of the fastest women in the world, quite literally, and is sponsored by Team New Balance. She's ranked among the top 20 fastest women in the world and among the top five fastest United States runners. Maggie, welcome to Food Exposed. Thank you so much for having me. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I know everybody is so curious about uh, understanding basically what makes Maggie run. Tell us about it. Well, uh, I've always been very naturally athletic. Um, it was obvious from a very young age that that was one of the gifts that I had been given. Uh, I tried many different sports. I tried Little League and soccer. Um, and just the underlying uh, factor in all of those was that I was a really fast runner. So uh, while I wasn't necessarily like the best with ball handling skills in <laughs> soccer or the best at hitting a baseball I'm in baseball. Sure you, I'm sure you're probably <laughs> downplaying those skills too. Well, it was, I could get to the ball faster than anybody or if I got on base, I could steal bases. But, you know, was, the key skills that you need to have in those sports were not, you know, very, um, I wasn't naturally inclined to those. Okay. So my mom had me go out for track and field, and I wasn't really interested in it at first, which is um, kind of funny because now I do it professionally. Uh, but I just started winning races, and uh, I really liked winning, so <laughs> <laughs> I kept up with it. Well, I guess, um, now how many years have you been running professionally? I've been running professionally since about 2009. Okay, okay. And I, I'm curious because I know um, uh, there's a lot of uh, myth about whether exercise makes you hungrier or less hungry. Are you hungrier after you train? I would say definitely. I do feel hunger pains after training. Um, some of the sessions are particularly grueling. I think one of the most important things is to not let yourself get hungry, though. Um, I feel like anybody in my family or any of my peers would tell you that if I get hungry, it's a little bit nasty. So <laughs> I think um, while I do, I do feel like I'm hungrier after training, um, one of the most important things to do is to immediately start recovering all the things that you've depleted during a session. So that's one of the things that I try to focus on. Do you find that Nancy Clark's uh, tips, the ones about pre and post snacks and the ones about um, you know maintaining your calories throughout the day have helped you at all? Definitely. Um, you know, before I work out, I would never go into a workout without putting something in my stomach first. I always have a, a really hard time with the thought of your body eating itself. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> that <laughs> idea of like inner cannibalism. Um, <laughs> so I um, always try to have something with like a little bit of carb, a little bit of protein, um, and definitely I'm hydrating. Before I go into workout, I'm giving, I, if there's something with athletes that's important is timing. So I would never have something like that and then um, wait like five minutes and then go out because it might end up on the track again in a different <laughs> form. <laughs> so I just try to um, give myself maybe 45 minutes before I start training. And um, definitely afterwards, you've depleted so much energy at stores. And um, depending on the climate that you're in, I did a lot of training in Texas. And at that point, you know, it would actually salt our waters and things like wow. that because you've sweat so much. Uh, wow. So you do have to be really um, in tune with um, what you're asking your body to do and then, you know, replacing it with the necessary um, ingredients afterwards. Do you have to watch your weight? Do you have to be careful? <laughs> Is it hard to maintain your weight, even with all that energy expenditure? I think one of the uh, hardest things to face was it's not just all about exercising. I'm somebody that definitely would like to have it just all be about exercise and then I can eat whatever I want, but I definitely came to the realization that you actually can control your weight a lot more through diet than you can with exercise. If you had true. to choose That's between so one, true. you would probably, and you don't want, I mean, you want your body to be very balanced and harmonious and you want to exercise and be mindful of your diet. But if, there, if it came down to it and you had to make a choice in weight control, I think it would be diet 
first. Okay. Um, so yeah, I definitely have to worry about that. But what about when you're not training? What do you like to eat when you're not training? Do you just go out and splurge? Do you have fun? Do you do you toss down a glass of wine or two? Right. <laughs> um, I am. Um, I definitely will allow myself some of those, you know, no-no foods that I think we're all very familiar with. I am particularly partial to pizza. Oh so. my. <laughs> but I think um, one of the things that you start learning about your body and um, is that even eating those unhealthy foods, while they might taste good, like the way that you feel afterwards, it's not really worth it. So mm. I might, after a season, allow myself some of those no-no foods, but then it's pretty apparent um, quite quickly that I just don't like the way that it makes me feel. Okay, so you end up sort of self-regulating as a result. Right. But I will, I mean, I definitely am a girl that likes a glass of red wine every now and again. <laughs> so it's just with anything, moderation, you know, right. keeping yourself in check. Right, right. What, what tips do you have for people? You know, you're a professional athlete. You've kind of won the battle, essentially. I mean, you're still out there winning every race, uh, but you've won the battle of, of trying to find that balance for yourself and trying to find harmony between exercise and, and eating. What tips do you have for people like me who are trying to lean out, um, maintain their weight, but still maintain muscle mass? Right. Um, I think you kind of have to play a little part with science and then a little part with just how you are in your life. Um, I'm somebody who, if you have this at your availability to be able to go do some blood testing and just kind of see where your body is at, see what's going on in there and see if any needs are addressed because sometimes if you are having trouble fighting a little bit of uh, a weight issue, it can be something that's going on with your body that's not letting you, it's not facilitating that. So I think knowing what's going on in your body first is really important and then after that, you know, I just think Striking a balance is very important. You know, you're not going to do anything that you don't like doing. You're not going to want it. For a while, you might be able to get away with eating things that, you know, you don't like, and um, but it, you're seeing results in your body. But if you're not liking the way that you're feeling, I think that you're probably going to stop doing that. So my advice would be just to um, listen to your body and definitely have a very vegetable-rich diet. Uh, that's something that I've incorporated into mine and you definitely see just your body taking on like a healthier cycle and things um, and it definitely helps you lose weight as well so um, <laughs> but just being in tune with yourself and um, allowing yourself to be happy and healthy and I think that once you start seeing results and feeling better you're going to be naturally inclined to Great. keep up with it. Yeah success breeds success right? right. Well I know that um, post-recovery meals are extremely important in an athlete's diet and making sure that you refuel quickly after you've had a training session with the proper nutrition so that as you say your body doesn't eat itself you know you're not <laughs> cannibalizing all that lean muscle tissue that you're building is extremely important so I thought today we might um, share one of I know was one of your favorite meals when you were with us as a client the pasta with turkey meatballs. I do love that one. All right, <laughs> let's go make it. All right. For more Food Exposed, check me out on empowerme.tv. And until next week, remember, make food your best friend and exercise your companion for life.